Hi, how to batch print zip files automatically. So for example, I have a folder here with a zip file in there. In the zip, there are two files in the zip file. So I want it to extract and print the files automatically. So first you need to install Batch and Print Pro, which is a free download from our website to try it out. You click on Options menu, Direction Monitor Setup. In here you set the monitor path. So for example, I'm monitoring this path here, D test bond. You can browse to it as well, or click V to open that path like that. Once you've done that, you can set the printer to print to. So printer Xerox. Click OK. Now in the only print file type, you can just leave it blank. We should print any type of file in this folder. But in this case, I just want to print dot .zip and lowercase zip. Now, if you have a different casing, I can put a pipe and put, for example, dot .zip in uppercase, and it will check for both of those types. Click Add to Monitor List. Activate monitoring. You set the monitor every so many seconds to check for new files. So I'm going to do every six seconds. Save and exit. So now you can see it's counting down from six. So it's found the zip file and it's extracted it. And it's printed the two files. So you can see the two files working on the printer there. So as you can see, it's actually created um, a temporary folder for the files that it's just printed. Now you can make it move the files afterwards in monitor setup. If you just set the move to directory after print to wherever you want to move to, for example, T done, then it will move to that folder after printing. So you right mouse update that setting you go across you can see the settings there save and exit so it's now scanning for a new zip file so what i'm going to do i'm actually going to create a new one so i'm just going to do one file this time and create a zip file it's a simple one and i'm going to put it in this folder here So you can see it's picked up the file and printed it out and it's moved it to the done folder there. Now there are some other options for zip files here which can be set per folder. So just click on the left column here, the icon there. So you can set any of these settings for more specific setups. And that's it. Give it a try.